Hey guys, Coach Travis here, and today I wanted to talk to you about push-ups and improving your push-ups, whether uh, you can do a handstand push-up, a one-arm push-up, or a push-up on your knees. Uh, this drill that I'm about to show you is just all about creating tension and shifting our, our weight distribution around. So what am I talking about? I'm gonna get a little nerdy here for a second, just bear with me. So our push-up position, plank position, whatever you call this right here, we're very spread out, two hands, two feet, there's a lot touching the ground over a very large distance. We'll call that our base of support. So what we'll do is use our friend the squat to shrink this uh, base of support, forcing ourselves to shift more of our weight into our hands, forcing us to create more tension or else we fall on our face and no one wants to do that. So push up position. Now number one, make sure you, instead of shifting your weight back, shift your weight forward into your hands, numero uno. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the abs, then slowly walk your feet towards your hands, keeping the weight in your hands as much as possible, very light on your feet here, and eventually you're gonna look like you're in a very familiar position called the squat, right? Now from here, we can try straightening the knees, whoo! Sink them back down, maybe walk them back. Find a position that can challenge you to force you to create more tension because you have all of that weight distributed into those hands, very small surface area, really big demand on those arms, but you don't really have to worry about range of motion or anything like that. So give that a shot, see how it feels, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Hold on guys, I almost forgot. Bonus drill for those of you looking to enter the hand balancing world where all your weight's in your hands and none of it's on your feet, uh, this is a little fun way to get into that uh, crow headstand or tripod pod position. Start in your push-up position, nice and strong, shifting forward. Walk your feet in, and then if you can get your knees over your elbows, you can then use these legs to squeeze into the arms and maybe pick up a foot. If you can get one foot with control, maybe try the other foot. Boop. If you can get each foot off the ground with control, maybe try both. Forward, one foot, two foot. Squeeze them together, right back in your squat. Take your time, folks, on that one. Maybe use a little cushion, not some concrete, if you're gonna try that for the first time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.